If I ask you, who are you, Jay? How would you describe yourself? I would say that I am consciousness. I am raw energy here to serve, support, and try to hopefully improve people's lives and people's life experience by giving them access to wisdom and knowledge that they wouldn't otherwise have come across. Mm. So I see myself as consciousness and energy when it comes to the essence of who I am. And then I see that purpose of that consciousness and energy to simply want to serve, support and improve the lives of others. And that that's what I'm designed to do. That's what I'm built to do. That's what I was created for. Mm. And so I've often said before that we're educated for greed, but we're wired for generosity. And I believe that I'm just trying to tap into that part of me that is wired for service. And why? Like, why do you feel that you, you should do it? Like, I know it's your purpose, mm. but, um, you know, we, we all as human beings want to feel validated or significant mm. on this earth. And certain things make us feel valuable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why does what you just said make Jay feel valuable? Yeah, such a great question. There's a beautiful statement by Muhammad Ali where he said that service to others is the rent we pay for our room here on earth. And I love that so much because I think that if you look at everything in the universe, everything in the universe is always serving. I'll give you an example. If you look at the sun, it's constantly giving sunlight. There are so many things on this planet that depend on the sunlight to be alive. If you look at the water, it's always fueling people, it's nourishing people, it's hydrating people. The water is always serving. If you look at a tree, a tree is growing every single day so that it can provide shade, it can provide fruits, it can provide flowers, all in the service of others. If you look at everything in nature, it's always serving. And we ourselves are nature. We may see ourselves as separate, but the truth is that we're no different. We grow, we evolve, we die. And so when you are nature, the reason why it gives me so much significance is because I realized that in order to be aligned with the universe, I have to serve. So when we talk about being aligned with the universe, when we talk about being aligned with our purpose, when we talk about being aligned with who we are, if nature is at the core and at the essence of who we are, then Service is not making us feel significant for any other reason apart from that is our natural inclination. But because we've tried so hard to become the enjoyer, we've tried so hard to become the person who just wants to have pleasure, we've tried so hard to become the person that just wants to exploit as well, that doesn't lead to joy and happiness. Imagine the sun decided to turn off and went, I'm not giving any more light for the day. Or if the water decided to stop and said, you know what, no more water for planet Earth. Or you know what, the trees said, you know what, I'm not giving any fruits. I'm only going to give fruits to my trees. All of a sudden, like so much would break down in an ecosystem. And so I think it gives me significance because I realized that it's how we're made. It's what we're meant for. And it's also what leads to our happiness. So even selfishly, mm -hmm. honestly speaking, it's not that service is completely selfless. Service is also selfish and selfless because it is knowing that it is good for myself. Mm. It is also going to make me happy. It is also going to make me feel content. And I think you know this and we feel this that I'm sure in your lifetime, you've had so many of the greatest pleasures. And I'm not saying any of those are bad. And I'm not saying we shouldn't have fun. And I'm not saying we shouldn't have nice things. And I'm not saying we shouldn't be happy and surrounded by beautiful things. But what I am saying is, we know that all of those things are useful and necessary, but those aren't the things that make you go to bed feeling fulfilled and grateful and happy about your life. And so I think when anyone's served, when anyone's tried to serve, the feeling is incomparable.